Hey guys, this is Anthony Morganti. I am MrPhotographer.com. In this video, we're going to take a look at Topaz Labs Mask AI. We're going to take this image of the bride and we're going to remove that black background and replace it with this image of the sky. Now what makes this particularly difficult is her veil. Her veil, of course, is sheer and we could see that black background through the veil. For this to look realistic, we have to make sure that we could see this sky through that veil. I think you'll find that Topaz Labs Mask AI is one of the few applications where you'll be able to do this relatively easily. Now I'm going to open up Mask AI and I'm going to open up that image of the bride. Very quickly I want to mention that I have a discount code available for Topaz Labs product. In the description below this video I'll have a link to their website and I'll have my discount code listed. You could save 15% on anything they sell, including Mask AI. All right, now when you open an image up and do Mask AI, right away it's going to have a green overlay on it. You have to know about three colors. Green means you're keeping it. Now obviously we haven't done anything to this image yet, so it thinks we're keeping everything. But when we're done masking it off, the green will be on our face and the flowers. The other color you have to know about is red. Red means you're getting rid of that part. Now in this image, we're getting rid of that black background. So over here to the side of her veil, the right side of her veil, that's going to be all red when we're done masking it. Now blue is the edges between what you're keeping and what you're getting rid of. When you paint blue there, uh, Mask AI is gonna examine that edge very carefully and make sure you have a clean edge. Also, if you have an area that is difficult like her veil where it's semi-transparent you're going to paint blue there and let mask ai figure that part out now when again when you first open the image up you have green everywhere but you also have a blue brush to do this the easiest way and the most efficient way what you should do is start out with the blue brush and paint the edges paint the demarcation line what you're keeping what you're getting rid of what part of the image is Topaz Labs Mask AI going to figure out and what part are you just telling it to get rid of and what part are you telling it to keep? Now, we have one line right along her veil. Everything to the right of veil we're getting rid of, right? So we're going to get a smaller brush. I'm going to hit the left bracket key. You could also move the brush size right there. And I could freehand it all the way down. But a faster way whenever you have a straight line or a relatively straight line to paint is to just click once at one end, go to the other end, hold the shift key down and click again. So we have a straight line. So we easily just marked it off. So this is eventually gonna be red. Her face is going to be green, it already is. And the veil part's going to be blue. So we have to mark off her face so the blue doesn't get on her face. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna stay with this blue brush and we're going to then kind of, whoops, slipped a little bit, but that's right. We're gonna mark off her face, then the flowers. Now there's so many features in Topaz Labs Mask AI that it's impossible to cover them all in one video. So at the end of this week, beginning of next week, I'm going to do another video and we're going to cover some more of the features that are in this application, including how to replace a sky with the um, auto detect sky feature. And you also could auto detect a subject, which what I found in this case, it didn't work as well because that veil was screwing it up. So. Now we have it mark demarcated, right? We have this area is going to be all red, this is going to be all blue, and this is going to be all green. It already is green. Now we could just get the red brush and start painting right over here, but a faster way is to get the bucket. Just click on the bucket and click once right there and it immediately put all red over there. Now we need blue here, so I'm going to get the blue bucket and paint right there. So we marked it off. We're ready to let Topaz Labs do its thing. We have two different modes. We have the AI, artificial intelligence mode, or we have the contrast mode. I suggest you start out with AI every time, but if it doesn't work that well, try contrast. What I found with this image, contrast worked better because we have a solid black background and her veil, there's a lot of contrast between her veil and that background. So contrast worked better. So I'm gonna go to contrast and compute mask. And what it will do, is it's going to figure out what we're keeping and what we're getting rid of. And you can see it did a pretty good job. Now let me get rid of the double view by clicking here. 
Now it's showing us the wrong image. We want to see the other image. So then we're going to click right here and we're going to look at the image we're keeping right there. All right, so it did a great job, but it's missing part of the veil over here. So we have to kind of refine it. To refine it, we're going to go to this last icon, the color range tool. The color range tool is super easy to use. What you do is you use the eyedropper to click on an area that you're keeping or a color that you want to keep. And then you're using the red eyedropper to click on a color you're getting rid of. And then you're just going to compute it and paint where it is. So we're going to start with the green. What are we keeping? Well, we're keeping this kind of like veil area there. So we're going to click there. And now that color is in the swatch. Now we're going to go to the red eyedropper. And we're going to click on the background. Now the background isn't showing because we masked most of it away. But it knows it's black right here. And we'll click there and there. Now it got rid of that. Now, how exact do you want those clicked colors to be? If I move range to the left, then it's got to be those exact colors. If I start moving it to the right, then it's going to expand the color palette so that it's going to get shades of those colors. So this you're going to have to, you know, mess around with and see what works best. So we're going to go right there. I'm going to stay with contrast mode, I think, right? And then we're going to, we have a brush. Now I got to kind of brush over here to let it know this is the area down in here. And let go and let it process. Now it may screw up. It screwed up, right? But we could paint up here. See if it does it better. And it did. So it did a pretty good job. So um, right there. Now we want to load that background image in here to see what it looks like. To do that, what you do is go right on this tab, Background, and go to Image. We're going to upload an image, and it's that sky image. We're going to click Open. And it takes a second, and there it is. And it looks pretty good, doesn't it? You could see through the veil. And you could come in and try to refine the mask if you think uh, it's not good enough, but I think that looks pretty good. So as you could tell, it's, it's relatively easy to use. But there's so many features, and I left a lot out, because if we go back to mask, you could see that we have an auto-detect um, a face feature. Um, didn't work well with this image when I tried this ahead of time, but we'll maybe do a video on that. You could auto-detect a sky if you're replacing a sky. And then you have the manual. We did this pretty much 100% manually. And I found even if you're just using the face detect or the person detect or the sky detect, you still got to know these things I just showed you in this video. That's why I did this video first, because you're still going to have to refine the edges and maybe paint, repaint an edge, use the bucket tools and things like that. So um, now let's save this, right? So we're going to go down here and click save, and we're going to save it as a composite. And I'm going to just save it as a JPEG, and I'm going to save it to the desktop and click save. And we'll it's saved already and it is right there. So there's our image. Not bad. Topaz Labs Mask AI. So again, maybe the end of this week, beginning of next week, I'll do another video and we'll go from there. Thank you everyone who watches my videos. I really do appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys soon. <laughs>